Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, sorry about the delay. Uh, I've just been busy and all with work and uh, some other side projects that I'll be uh, some, releasing some videos on. Um, but I'm just here to release the open source of Wizbox because I see all you guys commenting and I feel bad and I just I just want to get out there. It's not in a finished state. Like I, I'm a perfectionist with everything, so I don't like to release anything till it's like complete and there's no there's no issues. But uh, I just want to be warned that there's this code. I pretty much made this as a test program, so I didn't take the best um, precautions going into it. And uh, so with that being said, that's one job for you guys to do is clean up the code and try to figure it all out because it's definitely a mess. Um, and there's a lot of shortcuts that were taken, and the shortcuts aren't always good because, you know, they lead to issues. But uh, that's for another video. And uh, But... Here we go. I'll show you guys how to do this. So down below, you're going to get the link to GitHub. Um, and then you're going to see this big green button where it says code. You want to click on that. If you've never used it, go down to download zip. Zing -a -zing. And then you'll get this. It's a zip file. You want to take this. Uh, just the main. Drag it anywhere. I'll just go to my desktop. Boom. All right, now I open this. You see the readme, you can just delete that. That's not important. That's just what this is down here, readme. And then go to this. This is the main project folder. And then you're gonna see these two. If this doesn't have Visual Studio Solution and doesn't have a little picture, that means you don't have Visual Studios. If you don't have Visual Studios, just go down to the uh, description below and then you'll see, you'll click the link down here and it'll come up to this website and then you'll see community free download or you can get the free trials if you want to try the other ones but uh the community one will do that's all you need you just want to download that and install the uh not c plus plus but c sharp um, and if you don't really have much coding experience uh i just skip this part there's a, a fully built version in here so you'll just skip to the other part but so if you want to edit the code you'll need to have this uh, if not, just click through here, go to WizBox, go to bin, go to debug. Actually, I'll just make this, I'll just create a shortcut for you guys. So take that, go up to here. There we go. So now, boom. Now when you download this, it'll just have that. I'm going to have to update that in a sec. But <laughs> All right. Um, so... Let's open this up. I'll just give you a quick rundown with this to show you what each form is, what it does. So you'll come here, you send the right side to Solution Explorer, and then these are all your, your forms. Um, you go to form one, it takes a minute for it all to load. But you'll see all these. If you double click each one, it's, they're all buttons, it'll take you to the, the, that part of the code. So open a client, and it'll take you here. It'll show you exactly what it does. Um, for this one, this is the most important thing to make it uh, skip like through the patcher and just go straight to the login screen that you see. Um, if you make a shortcut and then put this after the game directory in the shortcut, you will uh, have the same effect. Uh, but yeah, pretty much just don't touch this for the most part and you'll be good. And so the next one is the overlay. So this is how the text is rendered onto the screen. Well, not really rendered, but this is how text is hovering over the screen. Um, the background color is set to fuchsia, transparency is fuchsia, so you just see right through it. And then I can just put the text wherever I want, and then boom, that's just overlaid on over everything 24-7. You know, the teleport menu, which is just the T on this that goes right above. And that's got all its buttons there. So if you want to edit those, you can see input, input to press. It's just this little form. Um, so yeah, there's that. That's got all the code for this. The the settings. Here's the settings. And uh, like I said in the other videos, some of these don't save. I forget which don't. I haven't worked on this in forever. Um, the signature was just like a test. I don't think it even does anything. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can right-click and then build solution. 
and it'll go to that same bin folder I just showed you. Uh, or you, if you want to test it out, you can just go up to here. You just run it straight up. And you can see it's got a little console window. Uh, I'll show you how to get rid of this if you want. Um, but yeah, that's really it. <laughs> to get rid of the console, you just go to properties. Uh, not properties there. You click on WizBox, the project, go to properties, and then output type. Just want to go to Windows and then save it. And you'll see. No console. Close it and then look through the console. And then there's the console. All right. But that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoy that. And if you guys do finish this or make it better or do any modifications, please send videos and pictures on my Twitter or uh, on my Discord down below. Because I definitely want to see what you guys would do with this. Because, I don't know, uh, as a programmer, and I've never really released any open source. It's my first open source project. Uh, I'd just love to see what, what happens with it and where it goes. So, uh, appreciate all the support. All you guys giving likes and subscribing and whatnot, leaving comments. I appreciate it a ton. And, uh, yeah, next video is going to be a couple more. It's like some Minecraft stuff. Uh, but it's a pretty big project by myself. And, uh. Yeah, I don't know. If you're interested in that, definitely leave a subscription. And uh, other than that, take it easy and enjoy. Good luck with your multiboxing. Peace.